Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name's Andrew, my wife's name is Katie, and we're the owners of Drady Soap and Candle. We talk about everything candle making, we talk about how to start up your own business, and the supplies that you need. But today, on this episode, we're going to talk about making candles using the Presto Pot method, which is a more efficient method of making candles when you're either preparing for a farmer's market or just want to restock your inventory. So if you like our channel, make sure to hit subscribe button, make sure to hit the like on this video, and let's jump right into it. Alright, so the first thing you got to do when you're using the Presto Pot is you got to turn on the Presto Pot. So what we got here is the connector cord, so we're just going to plug this guy in right here. It's got a little magnet that it would click onto the temperature gauge. If you guys want to see the temperature gauge there. It's got a warm setting, it's got 200 all the way up to 400 degrees. We're going to set it to just above the warm setting when we turn it on. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. It's going to heat up our wax. Alright, so what you would do is you would just throw the wax in here. As you can see, this is leftover wax. So the good thing about the Presto Pot is you don't have to clean it out. You could just leave the wax in there and then remelt it. We're going to let that heat up. The wax is melting pretty quickly. As you can see, like it's already melted, that leftover wax that's on the bottom bottom in the matter of like 25 seconds. So this thing heats up pretty quick, which is awesome and very efficient. So what I went ahead and did before, um, before we got started was I weighed out the wax, the exact amount of wax that we needed. Well, roughly the exact amount plus the leftover wax in here. So we'll probably still have some leftover. So today we're going to make two bonfire marshmallow candles. I already have our vessels prepared here with the wicks in them. We use CD4 wicks. We use two of those in here. We just discovered that it melts down evenly and it um, provides a good hot throw as well. So let's go ahead and throw our wax in here. So you would just weigh out your wax beforehand, see how much you need. Um, I like to use the, something like this because the wax doesn't get everywhere and you're not stacking wax on the scale. You're putting it inside something so that you could keep it all together. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in here. And it's already melting. It's like almost instant if you ask me. I'm going to throw all the rest in there. Now I'm pretty much done with this guy, so I'm going to set it aside. Alright, the next piece of material that you're going to need in making candles using a Presto Pot is a ladle. You want to make sure that it's a metal ladle. So I just use a ladle and I come through and I just, you know, just give it a little stir every now and again. Honestly, it takes... It, it, all this wax will be melted in no time. This is what I love about the uh, Presto Pot. Cool, so we'll let that melt there. All right, so the next thing that you're gonna need is a pouring pitcher. The reason you're gonna need this is because you don't wanna put fragrance oil inside of this Presto pot because it's just more difficult to clean up after and you don't want leftover fragrance oil to be inside of your Presto pot because it might jeopardize the scent of the next batch of candles that you make. So one thing that we like to do is only put wax in our Presto pot and then scoop out the amount that we need for each candle into a into a pouring pitcher and then add the fragrance oil and then stir it and then pour it into the vessel. So that's why we have our pouring pitchers ready. Next thing that you're going to need is a stir stick. I like to use this stir stick for the pouring pitcher, but I mean you can always come back over here and mix it around. I like to use the ladle for that, but it's okay to use this as long as you're not cross contaminating. I guess you could use that term for this but mix in the fragrance oil and then coming back over here. I'm sure it's not a big deal, but I just don't like to do it. So let me go ahead and check the temperature of this. One thing with the Presto Pot is it gets hot really fast. So right now it's at about 200 degrees. So it's really getting up there. So all of this wax is melting pretty quickly. I, I was hoping I could show you, but I don't want to like tip it over too much. I don't know if you could see that, but it's melting pretty quickly. Alright guys, so when it comes to pouring your fragrance oil and your wax in here, one thing that you're going to need is your scale. Right here. So another thing that you're also going to have to discover is the uh, fill amount that you're going to be filling your candle vessel to. So the amount that we're doing is 312 grams. So that is our fill weight for our vessel here. So we'll know exactly how much that is because we've already pre-poured the 
um, the fragrance oil into these cups. This is 33 grams of fragrance oil, which is a 12% fragrance load for our Bonfire Marshmallow Candle. And the amount of wax that we're going to use is 279 grams. It's pretty much done. So it's all melted in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the pouring pitcher. I'm going to set it on the scale. I'm going to be sure to tear it out so it's back to zero. So I get an accurate reading of the amount of wax in grams so that it doesn't incorporate the weight of the uh, pouring pitcher. So the next thing I do is I come here, grab my ladle, and I just start pouring some wax in here. Because I've done this so many times, I know that it takes about four scoops from the ladle to reach the amount that I need. So it should be right around the 279. Oh, it's really short actually, it's about 200. So I need quite a few more. All right, just I'm gonna keep doing this. can see it should be around 279 290 so I have a little bit too much so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some out like this so now it's at 240 and I'm just gonna spill it until it gets to 279 265 268 270 279, perfect, right on the button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back in here. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the fragrance oil here and I'm gonna pour it in here. Now I'm gonna immediately, it's at, start stirring. And if you look at the scale right now, it's 312 grams. So that means that we put the right amount of wax and we put the right amount of fragrance oil so that our single candle can have a 12% fragrance load. So I'm just gonna stir it for about one to two minutes. Now I'm curious, I wanna know from you guys, what is your favorite type of candle? Do you like more of the fruity scents? Do you like more of the bakery scents, like cinnamon, cookies for Santa Claus, or do you like more of the floral scents, which is like sage, lavender, white tea, and water lilies? Or are you more of like a woodsy type of guy, like mahogany teak wood, vanilla cedar wood? I want to know in the comment section what you like and what you prefer. So as I stir here, I'm going to want to check the temperature so I could get ready to pour it into the vessel. Perfect. I'll stir it just a little bit more. It's a little high in temp, which is fine. It's no big deal, but I just like to pour it when it's a little bit cooler, like 180 to 185, somewhere around there. Go ahead and stir it a little bit more. All right, so now we're ready to pour into the vessel. We already have our vessels pre-wicked and ready to go. They're in the center and they're looking good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this inside of here. guys so now that we got the first candle done what we're gonna do is the same exact thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on top of here I'm gonna go ahead and tear that out so because I only put enough wax into the presto pot for two candles it's gonna be a little bit hard to try to scoop it out with a ladle so one thing that I like to do is I like to bring this back a little bit grab my pouring pitcher and then what I'll do is I'll pick this up here very carefully because it's hot you want to be careful I'll pick this up here um, I'll pick this up here and I'll pour it in just like that just like that and then next thing that I'll do is I'll come over here so it's 302 so what I'll do is I'll pick some up and I'll make sure to get it to 279 and then I'll put it back in the Presto Pot.
just like that. So now I have minimal, I have like little to no wax inside of this Presto pot. And in here I have the exact amount of wax that I need in order to pour my next candle. So let's go ahead and pour the fragrance into here. All right guys, so now that we got 279 grams of wax in here, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off the Presto pot. So all I do is I spin the dial until it says off. Now it's off and I also like to unplug it just in case, you never know. So now that we have our 279 grams here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our fragrance oil. This is 33 grams and we're gonna pour it into here. So now we're perfectly at 312 grams of fragrance oil and wax, which is the exact fill weight that we need for our candle vessel. So now I'm gonna grab this little stir stick and I'm gonna go ahead and stir it for about two to three minutes. Honestly, one to two minutes is fine. Maybe we'll stick to one to two minutes for this. But I wanna know from you guys, how long have you been candle making? What kind of wax do you use? And who is your supplier of candle supplies? Like where do you get your candle supplies from? My wife and I use California Candle Supply. We also like to order our vessels from Wooden Wick. And we get some of our, because there's a wick shortage, which is horrible, um, we like to, we just, right now we're looking around because Cal Candle Supply doesn't have any wicks, none really, and a wooden wick only doesn't really have any wicks either, so I think we've been using Candle Science and then Pro, Pro Candle Supply. And also uh, another company, but I forget the name. All right. So really, we're all mixed in here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into our vessel. Perfect. Last but not least, always make sure to clean out your pouring pitcher. It just makes life easier for you in the future. So I like to take a paper towel, clean this out, prepare it for the next batch of candles to be made, just like so. I also like to grab a little bit of rubbing alcohol, spray it inside of our pouring pitcher, grab another paper towel along with the old one, and just clean out any wax residue or fragrance residue. And now we're ready to go for the next one. Cool. Now let's jump into some final thoughts and to some key elements in using the Presto Pot. So the good thing about using a Presto Pot is you get to minimize the amount of time it makes to make candles. That's important because whenever you're setting your price for the candle, whether you're selling online, at a farmer's market, on Etsy, on anything, you have to incorporate labor costs. So first thing you have to do is ask yourself, how much am I gonna pay myself an hour to make candles? So in our situation, what we like to do is we like to pay $18 per hour to whoever's making candles. So when we incorporate that $18 and however many candles it takes in one hour to make, there's a certain formula that you can use that we'll talk about in another video where you can discover the amount of labor it it takes uh, the amount of labor it costs to make one single candle. So when we're using the double boiler method, how we would be able to make nine candles per hour, which is okay, but it's not where we want to be. So that would that amount of labor that it costs to make nine candles per hour would be about two dollars and twenty cents per candle. Now that would be on top of the cost of goods, which was making our candle cost around twelve dollars. So what we're trying to do is minimize the labor cost so we can drive that price down. So when it comes to the Presto Pot, we're able to make up to 18 candles per hour. And that's just if we're just taking it slow and really relaxing. But if we're really pushing, we can make up to 36 candles per hour. That would drive our labor cost per candle down to a, under a dollar. So that is a good reason why we wanted to use a Presto Pot. It's more efficient. And also you can make different fragrances at the same time because you're not including fragrance oil into the Presto Pot, it's just simply melted wax. So essentially you could scoop out enough wax into different pouring pitchers on different scales and 
make multiple candles with different fragrances at one time. That is very efficient and that is why we wanted to switch over from the double boiler to the presto pot method. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this video helped you. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if it helped you. If not, it's perfectly fine. Also, our Instagram handle is somewhere on this beautiful frame here. If you want to go ahead and um, follow us on Instagram, we do giveaways every month. Also, there's a video that's going to be either right here or right here showing you how we make candles using the double boiler method. God bless you guys. We love you so much. We'll see you next time.